Good morning and happy Monday. Today we're going to enjoy a rerun from the video for September 19th of 2019. That was back before word of the day and today's song. And you can see how my delivery style has changed, hopefully for the better. <laughs> we'll play it all the way through the outtakes, followed by the current outro. Enjoy and I'll see you tomorrow. And we're going to start all the way back in the year 86. Antonius Pius, the 15th Emperor of Rome, was born in Lanuvium, Italy. In 1356, in a landmark battle of the Hundred Years' War, English Prince Edward defeats the French at Poitiers. In 1783, the first hot air balloon was sent aloft in Versailles, France, with animal passengers, including a sheep, a rooster, and a duck. In 1849, the first commercial laundry was established in Oakland, California. In 1867, Arthur Rackham was born. He was an English book illustrator whose credits include Grimm's Fairy Tales and Rip Van Winkle. He was born in London, England on this day in 1867. In 1873, the investment bank J. Cook and Company declared bankruptcy, setting off a chain reaction of bank failures in what is known as the Panic of 1873. This was a financial crisis that triggered an economic depression that lasted four years in North America and even longer in Europe. In 1881, American politician and 20th President of the United States, James A. Garfield, passed away on this day in 1881 from wounds inflicted by an assassin on July 2nd. In 1893, New Zealand becomes the first nation to grant women the right to vote. In 1909, Austrian automobile pioneer Ferry Porsche was born in Wiener Neustadt, Austria-Hungary. In 1911, English author, poet, playwright, Nobel Prize laureate William Golding was born on this day in Newway, Cornwall, England. He's famous for the book Lord of the Flies. In 1926, American actor, writer, and host of Inside the Actors Studio, James Lipton, was born in Detroit, Michigan. In 1933, Scottish-American actor David McCallum was born in Glasgow, Scotland. I most remember him from a 60s spy fiction TV show called The Man from UNCLE and was very happy to see him working again as NCIS medical examiner Dr. Donald Ducky Mallard in the American television series NCIS. In 1934, English talent manager Brian Epstein was born in Liverpool, England. He's probably most famous for having managed the Beatles. 1941, American rock vocalist Mama Cass Elliot was born in Baltimore, Maryland. 1948, English actor Jeremy Irons was born in the Isle of Wight, England. In 1957, the first underground nuclear test took place in Nevada. In 1959, Khrushchev pitched a fit when he found out he wasn't going to visit Disneyland. He'd wanted to visit Hollywood and a visit had been arranged. He and his entourage got a movie tour and that went pretty well for the most part. But then a media company president irritated Khrushchev by challenging him on statements he had made previously. Khrushchev, known for his temper, had some spicy things to say in reply, and this all put him in a bit of a bad mood. So when he was advised that he would not get to visit Disneyland because the authorities were concerned that the crowds at Disneyland might pose a safety hazard for him, he pitched a fit. More spicy things to say. <laughs> In 1964, American country singer, songwriter, and actress Trisha Yearwood was born in Monticello, Georgia. The American physicist who invented serography, Chester Carlson, passed away on this day in 1968. Xerography is a dry photocopying technique that is now used in most photocopying machines and laser and LED printers. 1969, on this day, President Nixon announced the cancellation of draft calls for November and December. In 1970, the Mary Tyler Moore Show premiered on this day. 1974, American actor and comedian Jimmy Fallon was born in New York City. On this day in 1982, the first documented emoticons, a smiley face and frowny face emoticon, 
were posted on the Carnegie Mellon University Bulletin Board system by Scott Fallman. In 1983, St. Kitts and Nevis gained their independence from the British Crown. The first Europeans set foot on this island country in the West Indies somewhere in the late 15th century during an expedition led by Columbus. In 1713, control over the lands was passed from the French to the British, and then they gained their independence on this day in 1983. In 1985, an earthquake killed thousands in Mexico City. In 1991, German hikers near the Austria-Italy border discovered the naturally preserved mummy of a man from about 3300 BC. Europe's oldest natural human mummy, he was dubbed Otzi the Iceman because his lower half was encased in ice. On this day in 1995, American farmer and businessman Orville Redenbacher passed away. He's most famous for the brand of popcorn that bears his name. Anyone who's old enough will remember seeing Orville Redenbacher on TV commercials with his dark rimmed glasses and bow tie. In 1995, the Unabomber Manifesto was published in hopes that someone would recognize the person who had been sending homemade bombs through the mail for the previous 17 years. On this day in 2010, the oil rig Deepwater Horizon was declared sealed after a five-month-long spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Thought to be one of the biggest accidents in the oil and gas industry, the Deepwater Horizon spill, also known as the BP oil spill, began on April 20, 2010, when an explosion destroyed the rig and killed 10 people. Come on now, you can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Don't make me squeak that pig again. <laughs> Mama. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called, no really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.